Hello everyone, Broken Mark here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW, and this is episode 163, part 3. Now if you guys have missed anything from the previous two parts, then do head on over and give them a watch. As you can see, we are going to be kicking off part 3 with a singles match from the men's division, and it will be OG Nick representing the OG boys going one on one with the current BUW World Champion Jack Styles representing the Night Terrors. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. Now, if you guys do enjoy what you see, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike, hit any comments below, and do be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. <clears throat> the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 206 pounds, O.G. Nick. Making his way down to the ring first, representing the O.G. boys, O.G. Nick. And then it's going to be a tough ask for this young man to knock off the current world champion. And O.G. Nick's tag team partner, Jim Boy will be wrestling Jack Styles for the BUW World Championship at Survival Games. So, Jim Boy will be hoping that OG Nick can at least soften up the uh, leader of the Night Terrors. I don't know if there are any leaders in the Night Terrors, but uh, if there are, I'm assuming Styles would be the one. And his opponent, representing the Terrors, from Leeds, England, weighing in at 312 pounds, the World Champion, the Dominator, Jack Styles. And making his way down to the ring, representing the Night Terrors, the BUW World Champion, Jack Styles. And how intimidating is that sight? And all the things that Jack Styles has done throughout his career in BUW. The current three-time world champion who has been champion since Summer Bash back in August. After successfully cashing in, he's joined to gold briefcase. Successfully cashing in that on Matt Moody. And we know if that if Jack Styles can get past Jim Boy, he will be facing an old rival in Jackson Oak for the world title at Christmas Massacre. But as for now, we're focusing our attention on this matchup. And it's going to be a tough ask for OG Nick. Giving up 106 pounds. 
to Jack Styles, and that is a huge margin. Nice side slam there from the champion. Oh no, Jack Styles going for the fingers. And Jack Styles has got a taste of OG Nick. Military press slam. And it could be a great night for the Night Terrors at Survival Games. Jack could retain his world title and Johnny the Machine Cage and King Dominator could become the next undisputed tag team champions. We'll have to wait and see if that happens. And OG Nick looking to turn the title this match. Takes down the champion and now choking him out. Has, has that bite from Styles woken him up? OG Nick, DDT, we know he's capable of pulling off an upset. And OG Nick gets a one count. And OG Nick, a former BUW YouTube champion. And a two-time tag champion. Spine Buster into the cover. Styles looking for the win. Just the one count. And Styles misses with the stomp. And Styles now. Pendulum Batbreaker stretch. And Jack could be signaling for the end. And pulling back on the shoulder of OG Nick. Trying to take him out. Nick gets thrown across the ring. And no, Jack again. Oh, no. He's taking another chunk out of OG Nick. Oh, and Styles another side slam. And OG Nick. Maybe finding his feet in this match. Driving the knee into the arm. Takedown from Styles. The lockup. Another military press. Into the pin. Will this be it? Two count only, a near fall for Styles. And OG Nick back up to a vertical base, sends him over the top. Lands on the apron, but look at this. Club in blow. Takes down Styles with that right hand. Looking to do what he can. To keep the big man down. And that just paid off Jack Styles. And look at Styles, he just launches Nick to the outside. Can Nick recover? The lock up. Styles sent into the still steps. Jack getting back to his feet. OG Nick returning to the ring. Jack Styles taking his time. Doesn't need to rush. Nick swung wildly there. Nice takedown. Nick into the pin. Just a one count again for OG Nick and he can't believe it. OG Nick showboating. One man flapjack. Oh, not again. Three times now Jack Stoll has feasted upon OG Nick. And he goes it again the fourth time. Oh, not again. We're clear of you. Leg drop. No one home. Oh, 
Mick trying to do what he can. And there is the boot of terror from Styles. And Styles is victorious, just like that. And will that be the fate of Jim Boy at Survival Games? And that was a clear, clear message sent to the number one contender. Looking back at some of the action here. OG Nick did get some offense in. Couldn't really keep Jack Styles longer than a one count. So nice, we get to see it twice. The boot of terror from Styles from the Wally Coyote cam. And here is your winner of the match, representing the Night Terrors, the BUW World Champion, Jack Styles. Look at that vacant expression on the Dark Dominator. That's what Jim Boy will have to contend with at Survival Games. Anyway, on to our next matchup. And we've got some action from the women's division coming your way next. And this one, it will be Mini Demon, represented Demons by Design. And she's going to go one on one with Evie, representing the Broken Bloodline. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the pits of hell, Speedy Tima. Making her way down to the ring first, representing Demons by Design, Mini Demon. And it's been a perfect night so far for the DBD. Soldier Demon getting a decision in a tag team match. We're teaming alongside yours truly. And that followed up with Kissable Demon and Akira getting a massive win over Merciful Fate. Well, Mini Demon scored big here again tonight. And this will be a personal matchup for her. Facing family. And her opponent making her way down to the ring, representing the broken bloodline, Evie. And Evie and Mini Demon, I do believe this is the first time meeting between these two superstars. Two second generation superstars. Evie, a former BUW Women's Tag Team Champion, alongside her sister Rosina. Her 
Be a clash of styles, Mini Demon, a high flyer, Evie, more of a grounded type submission specialist. The two young superstars, the future of BUW is here, and here we go. The takedown from Mini Demon. Mini Demon already distracted. What a win would do for Evie's career if she can knock off a former four time world champion. Mini Demon, a two time Ruthless Rumble match winner as well. One winning back to back Rumbles. Wait a second, there's a pin attempt. Mini gets a one count and she can't believe it. Makes you wonder, will Mini Demon be a part of the 4 on 4 Survival Games matchup? You gotta think, and Merciful Fate scouting Evie as well. Taking flight, the splash on Mini Demon. Evie back up to a vertical base. Head first off the turnbuckle. Switches her around. And look at this. Bending her arm backwards there. That's not how the arm's supposed to bend. And flinging Mini Demon off the ropes. Nice leg drop. Kick to the back of the knee. Oh, counter from Mini Demon. Kick to the gut. Sunset flip. Mini Demon ascending to the top rope. Takes flight. The, hits the splash. Follows it up with the head scissor submission. And Evie able to counter. Lock up again. Take down from Mini Demon. Basement drop kick. A kick to the gut. Evie fighting back. Nice amateur takedown. Right hand to Mini Demon. Oh, what a clothesline turns Mini inside out. Guess a one count. Knee to the face. Gut wrench suplex to follow through. And there's the second and the release. Rapid fire right hands. And more rapid fire rights from Evie, who I feel will be a world champion herself one day. More rapid fire rights. Evie is just. Oh, she's not very merciful, let's say that. Oh, wait a second. Insult to injury. Many ascending to the top rope once again. Twisted demon. Hook of the leg. No! Evie kicks out the last moment. But was, was that a free? The referee said no. I thought it was. Re referee was uh, not going to change his mind despite Minnie's complaints. The dragon screw counter. Snap mirror takedown. Basement drop kick to Evie. Kick to the back. Another kick to the back. And Mini Demon covering Evie again. No, no, again Evie able to kick out. Mini Demon cannot believe it. But 
Evie. Yasuka Kata. Into the pin. And Mini Demon kicks out at two, and Evie can't believe it. <coughs> Evie now. Looking to put an end to Mini Demon once and for all. They're a Carafuda driver into the submission. Will Mini tap? Will she tap out or will she hang on? She lets her out. Could be a huge mistake on Evie's part. Elbow drop to the heart of Mini Demon. Making sure it's done and dusted. And Evie is victorious. What a match. Incredible match. We thought it was over after the uh, Twisted Demon. AV staying in the match. And she also did here as well. Just a few seconds after. Naze at Yasuka Kata. You thought that was the end for Mini on that occasion. So nice, we get to see it twice. Here is your winner, e -V. Here is your winner of the match, representing the Broken Bloodline, Evie. And could she be, scout be scouted potentially to be a part of the Survival Games women's team? We'll have to wait and see what happens. Anyways, onwards we go to our next match. And it'll be our final match before we take our final break. It'll be another match from the men's division. And this one, it will be... David Labby. And he's going to go up against... David Joe Wolf representing the Wolverines. best superstars around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Florida. Weighing in at 250 pounds, David. Making his way down to the ring first, David Labby. And David Labby can't be in the best of moods after failing to win the King of the Ring tournament. He did reach the semi-finals before losing to the eventual winner, Jackson Oak. Looking to get back to winning ways by trying to defeat the uh, longest reigning United States champion in BUW history. Or well, the longest reigning champion in BUW history in Davy Joe Wolf. Of course, no longer the United States champion is Davy Joe Wolf, but of course, he will go down in BUW history.
Of course, David Lab, if you remember, was involved in the match where it all began for Davy Joe Wolf's legendary title reign. Still searching for his first singles title is David Labby, surprisingly. And his opponent from Wolverhampton, England, weighing in at 275 pounds, Dave E. Joe Wolf. And his opponent making his way down to the ring, representing the Wolverines, Davy Joe Wolf. And since losing the United States Championship, Davy Joe Wolf has since pinned the BUW World Champion Jack Styles. And he does actually hold two victories over Jack Styles. You gotta think Davy Joe Wolf is gonna be a future BUW World Champion. You gotta think after his legendary United States title run, he is ready for the next big thing, the next big stage, if you were. He's ready to take it up a level, I'm sure, is Davy Joe Wolf. Taking on a tough adversary in David Labby. Two men similar size. David Joe and David Labby, as we mentioned, know each other very well. As we talked about that triple threat match where it all began for David Joe Wolf. And David Labby has not forgotten that night. Labby looking for some offense, but he's able to counter as David Joe Wolf. And the headbutt just above the waistline. Middle rope, Davy Joe Wolf. Missile drop kick. Hooks the leg. Oh, just a one count for Davy Joe. Nerve hold from from Wolf. And look at the fireman's carry. And David Labby's been busted open. That, that head wound he suffered at, during the King of the Ring tournament has reopened. And now looking to pick apart David Labby is, is Wolf. That power, look at this. Davy Joe Wolf, the powerhouse of the Wolverines. Into the cover. Just a one count, and Davy Joe can't believe it. Of course, Davy Joe's cousin, Victor Wolf, the current Intercontinental Champion, will be facing the United States Champion, Matt Moody, at Survival Games. That should be an in interesting and it should be an instant classic between two legends. And David Joe's looking for a leg drop. Labby put a hold to it. Knee drop. Back suplex. We can see David Labby's just as powerful as Davy Joe Wolf is. Kick to the ribs. And a close line to boots. Another knee drop from David Labby. And that blood is that sorry, that blood is trickling down the right side of David Labby's face. I said he suffered that that laceration originally against Landon in the opening match of this year's King of the Ring tournament. He did get it patched up for his semi-final match with Jackson Oak. And now Davy Joe Wolf has reopened it. And that wound does not look too clever. 
And David Joe Wolf turning on the style. As he usually does. Rarely, very rarely disappoints us, does Davy does Davy Joe. Labby with a waist lock. Davy Joe Wolf answering back. Lifts up David Labby. Look at this. Delayed vertical suplex. And that could be the beginning of the end for Labby. Cover. And Labby kicks out at two. And Davy Joe cannot believe it. Questioning the count from the match official. The takedown from Wolf. And you know what's going to happen next. He gets this. This could be over. It could be curtains. The victorious death lock. A Wolf family tradition is that that death lock. <coughs> David Labby able to live for another day for now. Answers back with one of his vintage backbreakers. And a two count only for Labby. Now look at Labby talking smack to Davy Joe Wolf kick to the midsection another kick follows up with a short arm clothesline no oh, crucifix from Davy Joe and there it is the Saido suplex and Davy Joe's put many opponents away with that move could be about to put Labby away here. And he does. Davy Joe victorious. And David Labby's misery continues. Look, da Davy Joe Walker is just on a whole different level right now. He has two victories over the world champion Jack Styles. And then now he's just pinned David Labby. What a contest is all I can say to that. Phenomenal. And these two rarely disappoint when it comes to to matches against each other. Here is your winner, Dave E. Joe. Here is your winner of the match. Representing the Wolverines, Davy Joe Wolf. And as a message to the rest of the locker room, you've got to say, could that be a message for the world champion as well? Seems like everybody wants a piece of Jack Styles, but Davy Joe will have to bide his time and wait. But anyway, guys. We have run out of time for this part of BUW. If you have enjoyed what you've seen here, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike. Hit any comments below, and do be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. But we're not quite done for this week, folks. We've still got two more huge matchups still to come, including our next contest, which will be another match between Ali Cat and Chelsea, two former world champions. But this time... It will be contested inside of a steel cage. You do not want to miss that or our mixed tag team main event. So until then, I will see you guys after this final break. <laughs>